Protesters mobbed a Starbucks cafe in Philadelphia after seeing a video showing policemen escorting out two black men. Their lawyer says they sat at a table waiting for a friend. And when one of them asked to use the restroom, they were told to purchase something or leave. A local police officer said the police was called after the men refused to leave. Three different uh, warnings to leave suggest that there wasn't a, a rush to judgment. Many cafes and restaurants stipulate that their restrooms are for customers only, and to enforce the rule, they keep the doors locked. Customers have to ask for a key or an access code to open the door, but exceptions are made frequently. I've gone into this very Starbucks and asked for the bathroom code, got the bathroom code, used the bathroom, said thank you, and left. People also tend to sit in cafes for hours with their laptops and do not necessarily make a purchase. I sat in there the other day for an hour and no one asked me to order anything or leave. The incident on Thursday received a lot of media attention, but a similar one videotaped in California in January did not. Brandon Ward said he was told he could not use the restroom before making an order, but a white man directly behind him got the access code to the restroom before purchasing his beverage. If you have a policy, you should abide by those guidelines for everyone. You can't, you can't sit here and segregate things. So you might as well just put on the store what's your policy, whites only, at the end. The Starbucks management has issued an apology and announced training for all of its store managers. There's training that we're going to do with our store managers, not only around the guidelines, but training around unconscious bias. What happened to those two gentlemen was wrong. Starbucks has more than 8,000 company-operated stores in the United States. Larissa Hoke, VOA News, Washington.